ballistic missiles. Ballistic missiles follow a parabolic trajectory and are crucial in military strategy. They originated with Germany's V-2 rocket in World War II and saw significant advancements during the Cold War. Resulting in intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, they have three flight phases, boost, mid-course, and re-entry. They can carry conventional or nuclear warheads and are guided by systems like GPS. Their key signatures include a launch plume, predictable arc, and radar detectability. Notable examples are Germany's V-2, the Soviet R-7, the U.S. Minuteman 3, China's DF-21, and India's Agni-V. Anti-Ballistic Missiles Anti-ballistic missiles, ABMs, are designed to intercept and destroy incoming ballistic missiles. They emerged during the Cold War as part of defense strategies against nuclear threats. Key characteristics include rapid response, high-speed interception, and advanced tracking systems like radar and satellites. ABMs have a launch signature similar to ballistic missiles, but focus on precision targeting. Notable examples include the U.S. Patriot missile, Russia's S-400 system, and Israel's Iron Dome. ICBM Intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBM are advanced long-range missiles designed to strike targets across continents. Developed in the 1950s, notably by the Soviet Union with the R-7 Semyorka, ICBMs represent a significant advancement over earlier missile technology. ICBMs and shorter-range ballistic missiles both follow a ballistic trajectory with boost, mid-course, and re-entry phases. However, ICBMs have a significantly greater range, typically over 5,000 kilometers, and can carry larger payloads, making them crucial for strategic nuclear deterrence. Their launch produces a prominent plume, and they are detectable by radar. Examples include the U.S. Minuteman III, Russia's RS-24 Yars, and China's DF-41. Tactical Ballistic Missile Tactical Ballistic Missiles, TBMs, or Battlefield Range Ballistic Missile, BRBM, are short-range missiles designed for battlefield use, targeting enemy forces, infrastructure, or equipment. Developed during the Cold War, notable examples include the Soviet Scud and the U.S. MGM-140 ATAC MS. TBMs typically have ranges between 150 and 300 kilometers, carry a variety of warheads, including conventional high explosives, chemical, biological, or low-yield nuclear warheads. They utilize inertial guidance systems, sometimes enhanced by GPS, for high accuracy. TBMs have been used in conflicts such as the Gulf War and the Syrian Civil War. Cruise Missiles A cruise missile is an unmanned, self-propelled guided weapon designed for deliver a payload, precise, long-range strike. Evolving from early concepts like the British 1909 aerial torpedo and WO-2's German V-1, it uses aerodynamic lift and jet engine technology to maintain flight within the Earth's atmosphere. These missiles vary in size, speed, range, penetration capability, and launch platform land, air, sea, or submarine. They are categorized by speed, subsonic, less than 1 Mach, e.g. Tomahawk Harpoon Exocet, supersonic, around 2 to 3 Mach, e.g. Brahmos, and hypersonic, over 5 Mach, under development by various countries, including Brahmos II. Countries like the US, Russia, China, and India are actively developing and deploying these missiles. Notable examples include the Tomahawk, Brahmos, and Scalp EG, used in conflicts such as the Gulf War and Syrian Civil War. Anti-ship missiles. Anti-ship missiles are guided missiles designed to target ships and large boats. Initially developed by Nazi Germany during World War II, early versions like the Henschel HS-293 and Fritz X used radio command guidance. Modern ASMs, such as the Harpoon and Exocet, typically feature sea-skimming flight, combining inertial guidance and active radar homing. Some also use infrared homing or radio command. These missiles can be launched from various platforms, including ships, submarines, aircraft, and land-based systems. Notable uses include the Falklands War and the Iran-Iraq War. Anti-tank missiles. An anti-tank guided missile, ATGM, also known as an anti-tank missile or anti-armor guided weapon, is a precision guided munition designed to destroy heavily armored military vehicles. Developed during World War II, they evolved significantly during the Cold War, becoming crucial assets on modern battlefields. Early systems combined rocket propulsion with wire guidance, significantly enhancing infantry's ability to counter tank. Modern ATGMs feature advanced guidance systems such as laser and infrared, enabling fire and forget capabilities. Notable examples include the American Javelin and Israel Israeli spike, which have been effectively used in conflicts like the Gulf War, the Syrian Civil War, and recent engagements in Ukraine. Today, over 130 countries employ ATGMs. Man-Portable Air Defense Systems Man-Portable Air Defense Systems, MANPADS 
are shoulder-fired missiles designed to target low-flying aircraft, particularly helicopters. Developed during the Cold War, these systems have evolved from early models like the Soviet SA-7 Grail to more advanced versions featuring infrared and laser guidance, typically 1.5 to 1.8 meters long and weighing 17 to 18 kilograms. Manpads can detect targets up to 10 kilometers away and engage them within about 6 kilometers leaving aircraft flying above 6,100 meters relatively safe. Notable models include the American Stinger and the Russian Igla. Man pads have significantly influenced modern warfare, seeing extensive use in conflicts like the Soviet-Afghan War, Syrian Civil War, and the Ukraine invasion. Surface-to-air missiles A surface-to-air missile, same, is designed to be launched from the ground or sea to destroy aircraft or other missiles. SAMs became prominent during World War II but operational systems emerged in the late 1940s and 1950s. Characterized by their ground-based launch systems, they employ radar or infrared guidance to track and engage aerial targets. Key examples include the American Nike Ajax and the Soviet S-75 Divina. SAMs evolved into various types from long-range systems like the Patriot and S-300, Man portable versions like the Stinger and Strela 3. These missiles have seen extensive use in conflicts such as the Gulf War and Vietnam War. Surface to surface missiles. Surface to surface missiles, SSMs, are guided weapons launched from ground based platforms designed to strike targets on land or at sea. Emerging during World War II, Early examples include the German V-2 rocket. Modern SSMs have evolved with advanced guidance systems, such as GPS and inertial navigation, enhancing accuracy and range, typically ranging from short to intermediate distances. They often feature payloads that can be explosive, nuclear, or chemical. Notable examples include the American Tomahawk, used in the Gulf War, and the Russian Iskander, deployed in regional conflict. Air-to-air -air missiles an air-to-air -air missile, AAM, is fired from an aircraft to destroy other aircraft, including drones. Originating in the 1950s with early models like the AM-9 Sidewind, AAMs have evolved significantly, now featuring advanced radar, infrared, heat-seeking, and laser guidance systems. They come in short range, such as the AM-9 Sidewinder, and beyond visual range types like the AM-120 AMRAM. AAMs have been pivotal in conflicts such as the Vietnam War, the Falklands War, and recent air engagements in Syria and Ukraine. Air-to-surface missiles Air-to-surface missiles, ASMs, are precision weapons launched from aircraft to target land or sea-based threats. Originating in the mid-20th century, ASMs feature propulsion systems like rocket motors for shorter ranges, or jet engines, and ramjets for extended reach. Guidance methods include laser, infrared, optical, or satellite signals, depending on the target. ASMs offer standoff capability, allowing aircraft to strike without direct engagement. Examples include the AGM-65 Maverick and the AGM-114 Hellfire. They are used for various roles, from anti-ship to anti-radiation missions. C-to-C missiles C-to-C missiles are naval weapons designed to target enemy ship from a naval platform. Originating in the 1950s, these missiles are typically propelled by rocket motors or turbojets, allowing for varying ranges and speeds. They utilize guidance systems such as radar, infrared, or GPS to home in on maritime targets. C-to-C missiles offer significant standoff capability, enabling engagements beyond the horizon. Notable examples include the Harpoon, Exocet, and P-800 Onyx. Used extensively in naval warfare, they have been employed in conflicts like the Falklands War and the Gulf War. Solid Propulsion Solid propellant rocket use a solid mixture of fuel and oxidizer for propulsion. Evolving from ancient Chinese gunpowder rockets, they gained prominence during, during World War II with the Redstone and Polaris missiles in the 1950s. Although they offer lower performance than liquid propellants, solid rockets are favored for their compact, lightweight design, quick readiness, and minimal storage and maintenance. Innovations, such as steerable nozzles and high-energy propellants, enhance their performance and versatility. Modern versions also use advanced composite propellants like ammonium perchlorate and aluminum. They are extensively used in military missiles, space launch boosters, and model rocketry, with examples like the U.S. Minuteman ICBM, India's Agni series, and Israel's Jericho missiles. Liquid propulsion. Liquid propulsion missiles use liquid fuel and oxidizer for thrust, 
offering high performance and precise control. Developed during the early 20th century, they saw significant advancement in World War II and the Cold War, with notable examples like the V-2 rocket and the Saturn V. These missiles feature complex, multi-stage designs that enable adjustable thrust and longer ranges. Despite their intricate storage and maintenance requirements, their efficiency and power make them ideal for space exploration and strategic defense. Key examples include the U.S. Titan II ICBM, Russia's SS-18 Satan, and the Space Shuttle's main engines, which have been pivotal in military and space missions. Ramjet Missiles Ramjet missiles are propelled by ramjet engines, which use the forward motion of the missile to compress air for combustion. Developed in the 1950s, these missiles are known for their simplicity and efficiency at supersonic speeds. Their design allows for high speed and range, though they require forward motion to function, thus are typically launched from aircraft or booster rocket. Ramjet missiles are relatively difficult to intercept due to their speed. Notable examples include the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile and the older Soviet AS-1 Gensha. They are used primarily for high-speed, long-range strike missions. Scramjet missiles Scramjet missiles utilize scramjet engines, which enable sustained flight at hypersonic speeds by compressing air at supersonic velocity. Emerging in the 1990s, scramjets are designed for speeds exceeding Mach 5, allowing for extreme maneuverability and rapid target engagement. Unlike ramjets, scramjets do not require external propulsion to maintain their speed. Their high-speed flight makes them challenging to intercept and ideal for long-range strike mission. Examples include the hypersonic technology vehicle 2, HTV-2, and the Indian BrahMos-2. Cryogenic missiles Cryogenic missiles use cryogenic rocket engines, which rely on supercooled liquid propellants like liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. Developed in the 1950s, these missiles are known for their high efficiency and greater thrust compared to traditional chemical rockets. The cryogenic technology enables extended range and increased payload capacity. Their low temperature signature reduces infrared detection, making them harder to spot. Notable examples include India's GSLV, Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle, and the US Atlas V rocket. Cryogenic missiles are predominantly used for satellite launches and space exploration, 